Stafford, let's say he goes to the Rams, wins the Super Bowl this year. Now you just got two years in a row, two quarterbacks, one all-time the GOAT, and another time another guy that's considered one of a great quarterback, but he just doesn't have any wins or, or big wins, playoffs or anything. Stafford, everybody always said how great he was, but he never got it done. Now, if Stafford goes to the Rams and wins a Super Bowl, that's going to open up a whole Pandora's box. We got Aaron Rodgers. Who's, Tom Brady is getting credit for starting this. He went right to Tampa Bay and got the Super Bowl. And now Stafford goes to the Rams, gets the Super Bowl. You know Rodgers is going to go to Denver. Why wouldn't he? They got super backs. That kid Williams, the rookie, tremendous. Gordon, horse. Noah Font, a tight end. Receivers. I'm not sold on Jerry Judy yet. I don't know if he's as good as they said, but let's see how he does with Aaron Rodgers throwing. Maybe he is that good. It's a lot different when Aaron Rodgers is throwing you, throwing you open. So um, Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, they're going to take the page right from Brady and Stafford and say, you know what? I'm not married to this organization. I'm going to go elsewhere. So, you know, I'd, I'd like to see Rodgers on Denver. And I don't know where Russell Wilson is going to go. But with the trends, that's the way it looks like it's going to be for the next five to ten years. When you got good quarterbacks and the team is starting to be shitty, they're going to start asking out like these diva wide receivers. They're going to start asking out. And it didn't start with Brady. Brady was the first successful one. It started in my lifetime with Joe Montana. Joe Montana was known as the greatest quarterback of all time, right? And he was with the Niners. And then he got traded to the Chiefs. And he went to the AFC Championship, Montana. And in the 93 AFC Championship, one game away from the Super Bowl, and they lost to Pittsburgh to go to the Super Bowl. And that would have been cool because it was 93. Dallas was waiting on the other side. They beat the shit out of everybody. But I would have liked to have seen Joe Montana and Marcus Allen, who was also old as shit, a dinosaur, still great at 35. Marcus Allen, never, father time never got him. He was a 36, 35-year-old running back with way more juice than Adrian Peterson has at, at, the, at the same age, way more. So um, I'm not saying he was as explosive as him in, his, in their primes, but everybody ages different. But um, it started with Montana. He went to the AFC Championship. Didn't get to the Super Bowl, but he played great. He played great. Then uh, when was the next one? We had Montana. Then we had Favre. He went to the Jets initially. He couldn't decide if he wanted to retire or not because they wanted Rodgers. He went to the Jets. People forget they started out 8-3. and three, And then Favre got hurt, and then he re-retired. Then he came back to Minnesota and got to the NFC Championship game because he wanted to beat the Packers one game away from the Super Bowl. But he didn't get there. And then you got Kurt Warner. He was a guy that switched and had success with other teams. That's another one. But Kurt Warner had three careers. He's the only quarterback I've ever seen in my life to have three careers. He had a great career with the greatest show on turf. Won a Super Bowl. Lost a Super Bowl. Then he went to the Giants and stunk. I literally was in the stadium <laughs> in my mid-20s watching him fumble, fumble, fumble. He stunk. We thought he was done. He goes out to Arizona, resurgence, Larry Fitzgerald, all those receivers, back to the Super Bowl. They lost, but, I mean, the guy had three careers. A great one, a shitty one, and a great one. So sometimes you can't explain it. Then the next guy, the guy that I give the credit to in starting the, I'm a great quarterback, I can go somewhere else and win a Super Bowl. The first one that did it was Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, simple as that. Great, All-time great with the Colts. He went to Denver through 55 touchdown passes. Then he had a neck injury that was causing weakness down his throwing shoulder and his tricep. And when he lost his throwing power later, it wasn't because he stunk or lost it. He had a goddamn spine injury. And if if you know about that, it, it's tra it makes you weak on one side. comes from the neck. He had an, a medical issue that was messed up. but And he still won a Super Bowl with Denver. So Manning started it legend, like a legend to go elsewhere. Rodgers is a legend. Wilson's, I don't consider him a legend. I consider him a very good quarterback. Rodgers, legend. Um, so now, Kurt Warner, Manning, Manning won the Super Bowl. And then since Manning, it's been nothing until last year when Brady came to the Bucks and won the Super Bowl in the first year. 
and now Stafford just got out of Detroit. The Rams thought they were a piece of white. Boom. So this is a huge, this is a historical game. This is an important game going forward into the future. Because now Stafford wins it. And it's like, is this the new thing now? You know what I'm saying?